up everyone this is your boy here the yankee mad dog messiah here with you of course you know this is probably going to be my last video of the night here so please subscribe to the channel if you have it um we got a lot of sports content coming but um I i'm on here because i want to give my congratulations to the texas rangers um of course, you know, this is a baseball channel. Uh, originally, this was supposed to be a baseball channel. And then, you know, later on, I really got into other sports. But, of course, you know, my number one primary is baseball here. And I didn't do this game tonight. To be quite honest, I knew this uh, series was going to be done tonight. Um, not the best World Series based on the teams that were in it. Uh, this was a lower rated World Series, the storylines, and just really the general interest around um, this series. And, you know, I've seen better um, World Series all around, but hey, Texas Rangers, um, first time in club history they can... Uh, Celebrate a World Series, and um, this World Series to them, um, for the Rangers, I mean, you gotta celebrate it like the Boston Red Sox did in 2004 when they broke the curse of the Bambino, and, you know, honoring, you know, former Red Sox players that tried to win a World Series, that tried so many years, and the one player that you gotta think about is Nolan Ryan. Because Nolan Ryan was a Texas Ranger for so long. And he never won a World Series. And the thing with this is... I was saying this on Instagram. And I'm going to say on here. I got to talk about the fact that Bruce Bochy... For the third time in baseball history... Has won four World Series... You know, he's up there with the likes of uh, Joe Torre. Joe Torre won four World Series with um, the New York Yankees. We all know that. And the one thing that I want to say, and I said this on my Instagram, by the way. Because um, I am going to take a direct shot at the front office. And I'm going to take uh, a shot at Hal Steinbrenner. There's a lot to say about this Texas Rangers team of 2023. There really is. When it comes to um, how they won this championship. And this is the exact reason why I come on here. I rant, I rave, I bitch about the New York Yankees. Because they're cheap ass motherfucking pussies. Not to mention... The front office geeks. Because if you let a great baseball mind manage the way that they want, it can result in a World Series. And that's what Bruce Bochy did. He used his instinct. He used his IQ. That's why he's celebrating another World Series. He used the analytics as a tool. Did he go with it all the time like what Aaron Boone does? No, because he used his brain. That's how really good managers win championships. Not to mention that two years ago, they lost 102 games. They spent half a billion dollars in free agency. They were active at the trade deadline. And that's another thing that I want to say. Because what the Texas Rangers did, and this is what you're seeing in this new era of baseball. They drafted. They developed their own guys. Chris Young. They let him um, transition to a front office. And the one goal was, hey. They wanted to pursue the Houston Astros. In fact, they led 
the American League West this season before the Astros overtook them. And what did they do to the Astros? They beat them in seven games in the war, in the ALCS. This is how I want to see with the New York Yankees. I want us to develop our freaking prospects in the minor leagues. Throw away this fucking analytic shit. Get a manager that you can trust. He can use his brain to make um, the decisions. And I can say the same thing with the Diamondbacks. That's why they went to the World Series too. Because they developed their own players. Look at Corbin uh, Carroll. That dude's going to win the American... Uh, he's going to win the freaking MVP in the National League. I was going to say American League. Because I all I talk about is the American League on here. Because the New York Yankees, obviously. But, man, congratulations to the Texas Rangers. Uh, I'm going to say it again, man. You guys deserve it. Corey Seager, MVP. And, yeah, that's another thing that I want to address, too. Because Corey Seager could have been with the New York Yankees. We could have gotten that motherfucker. But Brian Cashman let him go. Brian Cashman wanted a fucking what? Trust on fucking um, what IKF to be the shortstop. And what did IKF do? Um, committed so many freaking errors that he had to be a utility player. And we had to call up Anthony Volpe. Not saying uh, Volpe is a bad player. I, I really hope that he progresses next season. He gets even better. But man, it, it's a freaking. It's like you know what this team does? The Yankees. It's like they get a fucking dagger and they, they fucking stab you in the hot with it. And let all that freaking blood out. And that's why I say, Yankees, didn't, if they don't do anything this offseason, you're going to see what happens. And I'm going to keep saying that for the next three months. You don't do anything, I will unleash on this team. I never lie to you guys. I will rant because the rants, they keep on coming. 365 days a year. So I gotta say, guys. Um, let me all know what you think in the comment section down below. Congratulations. Uh, again to the Rangers. Until then, I'm out. Peace. Have a good night.